Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at the new Sparky Linux. Now, uh, I guess the uh, back on April 29th, Sparky had announced uh, within DistroWatch that they were releasing a new version which incorporated uh, a, n a later version of the uh, Linux kernel uh, and also that a few of their default programs had changed. Firefox was replaced. Uh, Firefox replaced Ice Weasel, and Corbird replaced Turpial. Um, and, and so I thought I'd take another look at it. I do enjoy running Sparky because it is based on Debian testing, which means that a lot more software and drivers, later drivers, are available. I decided to take a look at the multimedia edition because it incorporates the LXDE uh, desktop along with uh, later versions of all of the Linux multimedia packages. Now, I'm going to go through a little bit of that with you. Um, if you're installing the multimedia edition and you're going after the multimedia edition more than likely you have a specific need whether that be in video production audio production graphics um, and so hopefully that what you're looking to accomplish uh, can be handled within Sparky now if you're a guitar player like me or a musician you'll be pleased to know that you see down in the in the bottom left that is the jack connector jack is a system that uh, is utilized in order to connect your instrument to the sparky linux um, multimedia packages so for example if you wanna record your guitar you would plug into if I go into audio connection you can see jack is represented that's QG Q jack control that's down in the bottom left um, and so this these tools help you make make sure that your your instrument is connected properly now it also has um, a, a tuner I mean mostly everything that you need uh, is here tux guitar um, let's see sound converter sound juicer <clears throat> um, you have audacity Ador, which is a, a multi-track recorder a Linux multi-track recorder it's probably the best that you can get within Linux it's a very nice multi-track recording uh, software, a digital audio workstation. And so, <clears throat> if you are, uh, if you have a need for a specific multimedia, um, then chances are you're going to find what you need here. You see, under effects, Guitarix is here, Rackarack. Those are um, well-known Linux programs. Um, that are specific to guitar players so I'm glad to see that they've done their homework and and made the um, at least the most obvious choices in software available uh, to the uh, uh, digital musician you have MIDI tools mixers uh, players sequencers synthesizers tools and tuning and so that would pretty much uh, handle the requirements of the uh, studio musician um, mostly everything that you need even to get professional results are here for education it's LibreOffice math graphics uh, again if, if graphics is the reason that you're looking at the multimedia edition then hopefully everything you have here will satisfy your requirements. Um, 
you can see I'm not going to go through everything but you can see that mostly everything you need including uh, GIMP is here uh, internet again Firefox Pigeon uh, Office is LibreOffice uh, in other you can see the wide variety of multimedia type programming uh, I installed Kazam and Kazam ended up in here instead of in video but um, wow pretty much anything that you need is here and all representative it's if you're a uh, an artist of any kind uh, more than likely you would um, have a great time uh, taking a look and, and uh, taking a look at everything that Sparky Linux Multimedia Edition has to offer. Programming Bluefish and Blue Griffin. Uh, system tools, you've got the usual. Now Sparky gives you a couple of extras and that's one of the reasons I like Sparky Linux. You see apt us and apt us extra. Well if you look at apt us, uh, it's a, basically a menu of utilities that uh, can pretty much handle any of your system administration. If you take a look at update, you can refresh your package list, upgrade the system. Now, when you when you safely upgrade, uh, it only I believe it only goes through the app get upgrade. If you upgrade the system, I believe it does a distribution or a dist upgrade. So this is a little bit safer than going full blown dist upgrade. You can uh, you can install a new kernel, language packages, the uh, Liquorix kernel, um, install packages from a repository, multimedia codecs. For desktop, you can see all of the desktop possibilities that you can install. Window Maker, Pantheon. You don't see this in too many distributions. Cinnamon. All of the budgie, all of these can be installed very easily from this menu. You can remove non-free packages, old kernels. You can fix broken packages either using apt or dpackage. You can remove all deb packages or just old deb packages. So if you're downloading deb packages, uh, this will go ahead and hunt them down and remove them so they're not continuing to take up space after you do the install. And you can edit repositories. Now if you go into App Does Extra, you can see that it gives you a lot of utilities uh, that quickly let you install additional software from Sparky and third-party repositories. So it tells you the ones that are installed, but for example, if you want Grub Customizer, you install it from this menu, very easy. You can install Google Chrome, Google Earth, um, Dropbox. You can see all of the multimedia codecs have already been installed. So you can see what is installed, what's not installed, and then decide what you want to install. But as you can see, all of the Sparky um, proprietary uh, items are listed here. And you can see how much work that has gone into making sure that everything uh, is set up properly and all the utilities, all of the administration tools that you need have been provided. They do a really, really nice job. And so you just pick from the list, install what you need. Steam. Uh, let's see. Play on Linux, I believe, used to be here. I don't see it now, but uh, Steam is here. Play on Linux is pretty easy. You can install that right from the command line. So I'm going to exit out of that go back to the menu for a moment uh, let's see you got all the additional system tools video camera webcam viewer you've got 
I installed SM Player. Mostly everything that you need came with it. Wine is pre-installed. Uh, you can customize the look and feel. Now, for as far as uh, theme theming, I think one of the things I would do is, if I were Sparky, is I would either go with a dark theme or install the uh, icons that are more appropriate for the theme. You can see how uh, invisible almost the icons are. You see the volume uh, icon is barely visible, Bluetooth is barely visible, internet is barely visible. So I think if I were theming this I would uh, do something a little bit different. Um, so great, you have Greybird as an option, and let's see. So you can see I switched over to Tango, and now the icons are a lot more visible in the bottom. With the uh, with the gray bird and the tango icons, so just a little change like that can make a big difference. Now you can there's also a default icon in the bottom left for updating your system, and if you click on that, it'll go through the update process, and t it's telling me my system is up to date. That's how quick it is. So. Again, Sparky has done a terrific job. Uh, highly, I highly recommend it, especially, again, if you're looking for the multimedia um, capabilities, this certainly has that in spades. And so, uh, again, the multimedia edition is not for everybody. It is a, a, a larger install, but it comes with so much that is useful to the artistic person. Or someone who's looking to accomplish something, um, whether it be graphics, video, music, uh, photography, and so digital digital photo editing, things like that. So um, this really has all the bases covered. I don't see any issues at all. Um, everything ran smoothly out of the box. Now this is Sparky Linux with the LXDE and the multimedia. Guys, that's it for this review. Uh, I recommend you give Sparky a look if you're looking to use a Debian testing um, distribution. So guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by the channel, and I'll see you soon. Take care.